seize land, grant mana privileges, loyalty privileges, advisor cost privileges, religious diplomats, and take burger loans. Now finish this mission. Take the offer of the nobility. Hire discipline advisor. Complete this mission. Now check Denmark's rivals. It's usually Poland, Lithuania, England, Scotland, Novgorod, and sometimes Burgundy. Usually Lithuania, England, Scotland, and Burgundy will support our independence from the start. Poland and Novgorod won't support our independence from the start, but we'll finish this mission. Take the first option, and now every rival of Denmark that has positive opinion of you is your ally, and hire free company. So now we can finish this mission too, get 10,000 manpower, and declare on Denmark. Assign your leader, and technically you don't even need allies to win this war, uh, because it's really easy, you just need to defend your capital and that's it. And believe me, you'll take wipe everything you see. Also take this mission for free stability. So here it is, Denmark. And as you can see, I've almost take wiped them. Even without a light, this war is really easy, but with them you might do nothing at all. If someone wonders, you may win this war without occupying any fort at all. You just need to defend your country, because you are in war of independence and you have taken war score for defending your capital. And you don't need more than 23 war score. So in peace deal, they meant independence. So let's peace out, now break your alliances, and in South of Poland, Lithuania and England. Delete your armies, don't worry, no one will declare on you, because Novgorod is too weak and you have truce with Denmark. And also let's enact development edict on Finland area, and develop this province. Set Denmark as your rival, and release and play as Finland. Give the same privileges, don't forget to take burger loans, it's really important. You don't have economy at the start. So now you just need to wait for 5 years. In the meanwhile, improve relations with Denmark and maybe with Livonian or Teutonic Order. They may help you with Sweden. By the way, don't develop any provinces yet, because as a vessel, you have this nasty debuff. So my truce with Sweden has ended, but I can't allow anyone except Denmark. So I need to wait until their truce with Sweden ends. One year before independence war, build up your army to force limit. Build 1 cavalry and 6 infantry units. And yes, building gallery is important, you need it for your mission. Ally Denmark as soon as you can. Of course, they may not agree to ally you, but usually, you just need to improve relations with them and wait for them a bit, and they will. So if you've done what I said, you will finish this mission. And now you should have access to new mercenary company. Yes, here it is. As you can see, it's very strong, so it may help you beat Sweden if you're doing it without allies. Okay, so let's declare on Sweden. Also forgot to mention that you need to mark Swedish provinces as vital to you, so Denmark doesn't take them away. Try to occupy this province before anyone else. And also try to occupy Stockholm. Also start improving relations with Poland. So in peace deal, take these provinces. You need them for your missions. War reparations. Independence. And if you have more war score, you can try to make pretty borders. Don't worry about Denmark, you will break alliance with them. Break alliance with Denmark and try to allay Poland. Also one, one second. That's really weird. I won't take advantage of this situation. But if it happens, support independence of England because Portugal stands no chance. I can ally Livonian order, let's do it. And also let's set our rivals, Sweden and Novgorod. After your independence war with Sweden, declare on Novgorod, of course you can. So usually the war against Novgorod isn't that difficult, actually. Because usually, at this time, Moscow declares on its second time, and it should be even smaller than this. Of course it's really random, so you may not declare on Novgorod, if you can't, but I recommend to not waste this golden opportunity because you get claims on Novgorod from your missions. Actually, I've declared on Novgorod so I can take money. I need a lot of money to pay out my loans. So, what to take from Novgorod? Obviously, take money, take some provinces. I would recommend taking Neva if you can. If you can't, not a big deal, don't worry about it. I think I'll take these provinces. Okay, that's already a pretty good start. Of course, there may be uh, more difficult runs, for example, where Denmark doesn't want to ally you, or land time, uh, but it's RNG and I think this run is pretty average, so don't worry about it. So, let's pay out our loans, and now I can complete this mission. Make sure that your ruler isn't that old, and complete this mission, so you finally have these awesome bonuses. So, I said to take Stockholm and this province because of these two missions, let's complete them. So now when you have truce with Novgorod and Sweden, you should try to find some allies, like Poland. Poland is perfect ally, and you usually can ally it. If you can't try to set your attitude to Muscovy as 
threatened and also try to scornfully insult it. Then Poland should ally you. Also complete this mission to the Renaissance. Also by the way, you may declare on Livonian order if you want to, because missions give you claims on it. By the way, let's develop Renaissance. Also if you want to, you may complete this mission. You don't need to actually keep your advisor, you may fire it. Also keep your eyes on Moscow. If Poland is willing to help you, call it in and declare on Moscow. Always try to find as many allies as you can. I can declare on Moscow even now, if I want to. And I even wanted to do it, but I remember that this video is a guide, so I'll try to not make it really complicated and really difficult. Because my truce with Sweden ends soon, and there is very good chance that I will need to be at two wars at the same time. Technically, Poland can beat it on its own, without your help. But if you're not sure if it's a good time to declare on it, uh, don't do it, wait for a bit. But of course I would declare right now, if not for Sweden. I can ally Brandenburg, let's do it. I'll set Denmark and Muscovy as my rivals. Okay, let's declare on Sweden before Denmark does it. Oh, I think I may stop worrying about Sweden and declare on Muscovy, because obviously Sweden won't recover from this already. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to mark a land that you want as vital. So obviously you can't always full annex Sweden, but at least try to take this part of Sweden before Denmark. As you can see, Poland easily carries me through this war. If you're at war against Muscovy, be careful and try to be near Polish troops. I wasn't careful enough, so rest in peace my free company. So from Muscovy take whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that Poland is happy. So in this case I'll take war reparations and pretty border, let's do it. And let's also declare on Novgorod. Of course, Novgorod may not live to this moment, but if you declared on Muscovy early, then it should. So I'll just wait until Muscovy is done with Novgorod and I will make it my vessel, because it has a lot of cores in Muscovy. And also because I'm pretty short on admin points. Well, Muscovy doesn't want to piss out Novgorod, so I think I'll just annex these provinces and give them to below zero. Let's release below zero and feed it some provinces, because they'll declare me as rival for some reason. But it opens possibility to ally friends. Lithuania asked for help with Teutonic Order and it's allied with Denmark. That's pretty bad because I'll have truce with Denmark and I wanted to uh, snatch Norway from it. So I'll try to white peace. So let's send white peace, I'll uh, increase trust with Poland with favors, so no worries about that. Try to take this ability. So now I would have declared on Denmark, but unfortunately I have truce with it, so I'll need to wait for a bit. So your first idea should be either religious, humanist or administrative. I recommend it to take religious for those woods and also because you conquer a lot of hidden land and you need to convert it. So let's ally friends. Of course you don't always get this possibility, uh, but still you might try to ally someone big. Finally. That's pretty bad, of course. Then I need to declare on Muscovy and call in Poland, I think. So I need to wait three more years. Maybe let's declare on Denmark. Well, it's occupied with Poland. And I can call in France. Okay, let's do it. I just pretend that everything is normal and Denmark didn't get PU on Muscovy. Well, but at least I can peace out right now. Let's do it. I said to take this ability because now you can do this. Take this option, finish vessel. It should be twice cheaper than, than another one. It's really old bug, I'm not sure why they didn't fix it. So let's take it. So here it is. Norway is my vessel. To keep it loyal, I may develop its provinces a few times. Here it is, it's loyal. So you may have a lot of questions about this situation with Muscovy. Believe me, I have them too. I think it's not because of missions, I think it's because of RNG. So this shouldn't happen. It may be even better for you, because as you can see, Poland is in trouble. And if Poland is in trouble, then you may break alliance with it and conquer provinces that you need from missions. So what should you do after this? Obviously kill off Denmark and Muscovy. And after this, you should either go into Asia or try to conquer English Channel. And also to finish your missions, you need to break alliance with Poland, you should first conquer Russia, then get some allies like Austria, and only then try to conquer provinces that you need. Well, anyway, thank you for watching this guide. I hope everything is clear to you. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.